In the heart of Wyoming lives a tale of a cryptid so strange, so mystifying, that it could only be of folklore. But people all around come to capture one for themselves. Hello and welcome. Uh, this is County Cryptids, episode uh, number 13. 13, and I'm Connor. I'm Jacob. We should have done a cooler one for episode number 13. Like, Black Shuck would have been really good for that. That would have been a good one. Did not think about that intel right now. But this is Counting Cryptids. It is. Uh, episode number 13. Yes. The Jackalope. Before we get started, at the end of the episode, we do polls. Every, every episode. Every week. Every, Not every week, every, every other week. Every week that we post an episode. Every time we do an episode, we put out polls on social media. Uh, we read the results at the end of every episode from the previous weeks. Yes. Head on over to social media to answer it. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the episode. If you do, if, yeah, just, just, just Facebook.com slash County Cryptids. And Twitter at Count Cryptid. Also, uh, leave a review and a like on both of those places. Uh, iTunes, wherever you listen to a podcast, definitely leave a review. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, and we will note be of reviews. We'll be sharing some at the end of the episode from some awesome people on Facebook. So uh, that being that. said, let's get into the jackalope. The jackalope. Or the warrior rabbit. The warrior, the metal ass warrior rabbit. Or the horny rabbit, but not the horn kind of horny. Horn, yes. The male horn. The lower horn, right? The lower horn. Uh, is it could also be known as the Wolperdinger in like German, German Germany. Yes, that one is a little bit different though. Uh, yeah, I I would say like a cousin, cousin of the Jekyll. It's it's similar. Uh, okay, so I have it's typically characterized as mischievous. Uh, the a body comprised of various animal parts, generally wings, antlers, tails, fangs. Uh, all attached to the body of a small mammal. The most common description having the head of a rabbit, the body of a squirrel antlers of a deer and the wings and sometimes the legs of a pheasant but we're talking about the jackalope which is just a jackrabbit with antelope horns and there's also uh, uh, a Swedish similar uh, similar to the, the jackalope called the uh, skvader skvader s-k-v-a-d-e-r s-k-vader uh, um, in Austria there's one called yeah. the raurakel raurakel R a u r a c k l. Okay, I hadn't seen that one. Um, there's also one in Scooby Doo. Oh, excellent! Uh, is it, it called a jackalope? It is called a jackalope. Yes. Okay. Um, I think it takes place in like Roswell, New Mexico. the The video is called Scooby Doo and the Alien Invaders Search for the Jackalope. What? Alien Invaders? Okay, I was because you had mentioned Roswell. Yes. And then you're talking about it being a jackalope. I was like, that seems like a wasted like introduction of Roswell, but okay. Um, but it's also about aliens. Watch it. I've I've seen it. I know what happens. Like I, I remember what happens. I did watch a clip. Are the um, jackalopes the pets of the aliens? Are they the aliens themselves? Oh dear God! I need to watch this. You, you should. We need a Scooby Doo sponsorship on this show. Absolutely. Jesus Christ! Good thing we are a kid friendly show, motherfuckers. All right, we do so, cuss sometimes, <laughs> quite often. Uh, uh, we should, uh, did we describe, we need to describe what a jackalope is for uh, those yeah, that don't know. Yeah, briefly. But it's real you, quick, real quick, take it. real quick, real quick, listen up. Real, real quick. So uh, you take yourself a jackalope. No, that's what we're <laughs> you making. You take yourself a jackrabbit. Sorry, I, you take yourself a jackrabbit. Which is just a, a rabbit, a, a, a rabbit, hare, a uh, bunny, a, a, a. There's a difference yeah. between hares and rabbits. Okay. but. They're pretty much the fucking same thing. For all intents and purposes. Right after I talk about not cousin. Um, 
you take that that rabbit there and you stick some horns on it from a uh, pronghorn antelope. Unless you're taxidermizing it, then you'll probably just it's use probably deer, antlers. deer antlers that you found in the forest. Yes, because they shed every year. Those are facts about deer. Uh, the jackalope is said to be so dangerous that hunters are advised to wear stovepipes on their legs to keep from being gored. Uh, additionally, they have the ability to mimic human sound, including song. Uh, jackalopes become especially vocal before thunderstorms. It is theorized that they only mate when the lightning flashes, which sucks, but I mean... They're pretty quick. Rabbits are pretty quick anyway, right? Bing, uh, bada boom, bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, just real quick on a jackrabbit, a white-tailed jackrabbit, which I believe is the largest North American hare. Well, the largest in North America, I guess, because a hare and a jackrabbit are probably different, so my notes suck. Uh, can get up to 26 inches in length, which is just over 2 feet. Uh, that's that's large. Uh, and weigh up to 10 pounds, which is large for a rabbit. Um, Flemish giant rabbit. And also the giant chinchilla, which is, I believe, also a similar creature. Not a rabbit, but yeah. It's pretty close. Um, They're like jumpy rodents. Yeah, I guess 12, 12 to 14 pounds sold for its meat. Most of the time, but I swear I've seen like giant rabbits. Real big, yeah, yeah. I, I can't put a name to them, but maybe Flemish is just the name that uh, it's just the name of the two. They just some of them get eaten, some of them get petted. Mm. Uh, my uh, uh, my my father and my sister go to Colorado uh, at least once a year to go climb a couple of mountains. Climb the mountains. Uh, they saw one the first year they were there, a jackrabbit, not not a, a not a jackalope, not oh. a jackalope, a Dang. jackrabbit. But they thought it was a dog when they first saw it because it's so big. Yeah, they're huge. He said they tried to get a picture of it. I don't know if it turned out. I will check it. I will look into that. And uh, and not like a, like a chihuahua. See, like like a medium-sized like, like, dog. Yeah, like a medium-sized dog. Like They thought it was a dog. They're, they're, they're large. Like There's a four-foot rabbit. Like He's probably pretty famous. Like This dude just searching largest rabbit uh, comes up with this giant four-foot rabbit. I think his name is Darius. Yeah, giant rabbit Darius, who measures yeah. over four feet long. That's massive. That, I can't ways. believe that lady's carrying a three him. three and a half stone. I don't know what the fuck that means, but we have a lot of listeners yeah. in the UK. UK, so you, you know what that's do. all about. Stoked on that. I wish I knew what it meant. <laughs> it means about 49 pounds. Damn, dude. It's a 50-pound rabbit, my kid, dude. bro. That's a big ass. It's longer than your kid, for it's, sure. It's big, it's, yeah, it's, it's much bigger than my kid, but in weight, it's probably pretty, pretty close. I mean, that's a big... That's a big ass a rabbit, big, dude. Big, we'll big, link big to big that rabbit. fucking picture of Darius. For Darius. Sure. Darius. Darius. Darius, get over here. Eat your carrots. Uh, should we talk about how you, uh, you might catch one of these uh, jackalopes? Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. These yaller jackalopes? Yeah. How would you catch one, Connor? Well, I would obviously use a, a rabbit trap. Like, like a, one that you made live, yourself, or like a live, a li- like a, a cage that you would like set up. Def- definitely like a, 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 a commercial cage. You're not gonna like go set a tree snare. <laughs> I, I I don't know how to do that, so probably not. No, probably pretty easy. You can watch a couple of YouTube videos and learn pretty quick. Yeah, end of the world. I need to do that before the end of the world hits, and I don't have the internet. When it, honestly, if it's come down to like all that stone age it. shit, we're, we're fucked anyway. So fucked. I don't know how to use Had a bow and arrow. that said, uh, I would recommend the channel Primitive Technology on YouTube if you haven't already watched it. The motherfucker does not say a word. He'll just, like, he's out in, like, uh, some jungle or something. And Doing just, like, shit. he'll, like, level the land and, like, clear it and then, like, build a hut. And just show you, like, like I learned how to, like, cultivate clay from the earth watching the fucking videos and, like, build pottery and, like, firing urns to do it's fucking interesting as hell i want to try it it's honestly i bet it is a colossal pain in the ass and sucks terribly but it's super interesting to to watch somebody do it and be like wow i could do this if i had to even though there's not a chance in hell that i could yeah at least you'd know the steps and you could attempt theory yeah you'd have a good attempt at it i'd have a better head start than had i not seen them absolutely like oh this okay that's an idea I, i can start i can start something like that somewhere to start for sure. Get ready for the end of the world, folks. Jackalope are taking over with their alien friends. How else would you uh, capture I, a, I had a found that uh, one of the easiest ways to catch a jackalope is to entice it with whiskey. Yes. Which is its beverage of choice. Loves that shit. Gets drunk and then it's slower and easier to catch. Uh, 
I guess I will take a drink for the <sighs> jackalopes. Pouring out for our jackalope homies. All right. So should we jump to into the 1930s? 1930s, uh, sometime in that area, sometime in that area, in that time period, um, a man named Douglas Herrick uh, says that he saw a jackalope. Um, he caught, he, he may have caught it, he came upon a, a jackalope. It may have been dead. Either way, he saw a jackalope, um, he stuffed it and mounted it, and he uh, sold it to a hotel, which had it up for quite some time until 1977 when it was stolen. Um, Douche. Right. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> Douglas Herrick uh, was a hunter. He served in the army and he was also a taxidermist. And so, so a lot of people think that he made it all up and just uh, found some antlers and a, jet, a rabbit. Ralph, Ralph his, his brother, brother. Yeah, he swears that it happened in uh, 32. In 1932? Um, but there's a lot of different accounts that say in 34, 39, Douglas and 40. died 30, in 2003, you know. right? He did die in two, 2003 at Can't 82. Can't up and ask him. Unfortunately, he took with him the, the truth of the jackrabbit. No. Jackalope. There God, I go. mix him up so many times. What other episode did you do that really bad in? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> there were, I had one in mind, but okay. The hotel bought it for ten dollars. Yes, they did. Which in today's money is right around one hundred fifty. Why a few bucks? One hundred forty-three seventy-two. That's crazy. A, a, a taxidermy animal, small animal, probably. But it was like a a one of a kind animal at that point. So like, if somebody's like, "Hey, I have a the original jackalope, Bigfoot, a yeah, Sasquatch dude. in the corner, bro." There's places like that. I don't know if they're real set like stuffed ones, but um, yeah. To have the original jackalope would be insane. I wonder if that guy that stole it in 77 realized what a big deal it was or if he was just drunk and thought that was rad. Oh, oh look at that, know. man. The rabbit's got horns. I'm going to take it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they Wyoming. sold a lot of other similar jackalopes yeah, after that. I've you said a like thousand. a thousand um, uh, to a retail outlet in South Dakota primarily. Uh, yeah, they, they also sold like other crap like postcards and stuff like that. Probably t-shirts that say, like, I caught a jackrabbit. Jack it's like, I heart jackalope, but the heart is like a, a rabbit's head with uh, antlers. Yeah, it's just I heart jackalope, and then that's Visit a t-shirt. public.com slash county cryptids. <laughs> God, dude, why hasn't that happened yet? Because you fucking keep telling me you're going to make shirts and don't. I don't make shirts. Dude. I'm fuck- I-, I tried to do the uh, pentacles. I tried to make the pentacles shirt. Didn't turn out I started the bubbles like a whale. I got a whale going. I think I sent it to you You did send point. it to me. Um, somebody on, I think it was Sean Count. Oh yeah, real. I think quick he was on that wa- fucking note. He, I think he was wondering about a shirt, dude. There's two people on Facebook, like two dudes specifically that they, you know, they comment. They post quite a bit on the Facebook group. Um, super appreciate it. Two cool dudes that are supporting the show. Um, I think I sent you the picture of, um, the drawings of the two uh, the verses. Yes. Fucking join the Facebook group and see it. All right, join join the Facebook group and uh, my boys are making drawings for us. Uh, it was Lucas uh, Threfall, Threlfall. Oh god, dude, butchering it already. Maybe we should have uh, Lucas draw our t-shirts. Um, he did he did some voluntary fan art. Um, he did a drawing of the Wendigo versus the Dogman, and he's also did a Chupacabra versus the Doarku. Uh, so check those out on the Facebook group. They're awesome. Uh, Lucas, it, it, those are great drawings, Thanks, dude. dude. Like, fuck, it kicks ass. Super stoked on those. I sent those to Jacob immediately while he was on vacation, like four in the morning. Oh, as soon as I saw him, I was pumped. Yeah, I just wanted... I showed my wife. I don't, I don't, I don't get excited and tell my wife things. Like I don't get excited, but I was like, I kept going, like showing her things. I was so, like, look at somebody's drawing stuff, yeah, dude. Lucas, that's fucking rad. Thank you so much. I, there, I'm sure I've expressed my thank yous on the Facebook group, but uh, definitely get involved on that. Uh, head over to the Facebook group. Uh, it is called uh, the Counting Cryptids FB group. So if you're looking for Facebook group, it, it's not going to be that, but it it'll it'll pop up. Counting Cryptids, find the group, like it, join it, participate in it. 
Moving on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So most common in the American West, Midwest-ish. Yeah, the, the Wyoming area. Wyoming, Colorado, South essential. Dakota, also into Canada. I guess I don't think I mentioned that really at all last time we tried to record this and that didn't work. Um, I also saw Michigan in at least one instance, but I don't really fucking know. A lot of uh, the stories were like super like short and nothing, no, no information. Uh. I think we mentioned in Europe and the Middle East a little bit as well. There's a 13th century Persian depiction of a rabbit with a single horn, like a unicorn, that I could not find the photo of anywhere. Yeah. And we I, talked I about either, the but... um, the Wolpinster in Germany or whatever at the beginning. Wolpendinger or something? Whoa! Yeah, yeah that guy. Wolp, Wolperdinger. I, I just have some extra facts about uh, the, the Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Okay, Mr. Douglas. Yeah, if we're still on Douglas, let's let's continue that now. Um, so the, I guess it's, it's more about the, the place Douglas. His name is Douglas. Also the city he lived in was Douglas. It fucking sucks. It's awful. It's it's so confusing. Um, but the uh, state of Wyoming, it's in a hole, um, trademarked the name Jackalope in 1965. Also, uh, do we owe them 16 cents every time we oh say God, the word jackalope? Because we're, so we're fucked if that's the case. Please donate to our Patreon. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, in 85, uh, Governor, Governor Ed Hersler uh, credited Douglas with the animal's creation. Um, so I guess that's something. That's pretty I mean, interesting. Doesn't that kind of then prove yeah, that, that it's you not didn't, real r- and right. you made it up and you didn't? Never mind. Never mind. I think so. Never mind. Um, the city of Douglas also put warning signs up around the the, the area, um, saying "Watch out for the jackalope." Due to the uh, in my notes, I say due to the animal's reported rage. So apparently they're pretty brutal, though they just seem fuzzy little bunnies. To I me. saw a lot of like parks websites that have like be on the lookout for like one of them was like oh top fifteen animals to look out for while you're at Yellowstone, and there was like a a snow hare. Some other uh, jackrabbit, and then also a jackalope was included on the list. I'm like, and then ne- all of them have like a likely to be seen, very low, like all this stupid, oh like like God. treating it like it's real. They got all this stuff on it, like trying to talk about it. It's like, yeah, like if you see it, you may got to make sure you keep your distance and please tell a park ranger. Ellis, like, you're acting like it's real. Like I get you're doing this kind of cutesy shit, so like you can entice children outside. But if you're enticing kids anywhere, yeah. that seems a little weird, first of all. But also, you're muddling the internet with your fucking bullshit. So Agreed. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one because it's weird. It's weird. Did I also mention that? Uh, I think you mentioned earlier in the episode that they could like. Do vocal Yes, yeah, so I talked a little bit about that, yes. So uh, I saw that a por- apparently according to the tourist shop in Douglas, cowboys heard jackalopes singing back to them when they were like playing guitar around the campfire at night, which is super stereotypical cowboy, I think. I didn't think cowboys were like actually real. I honestly didn't think so for the longest no, time. No, I'm pretty sure they're not. Do you think it, that, that whole period was made up? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying there wasn't like people that just like rode around on horses doing nothing shooting guns at fucking noon with outlaws just wearing hats and spurs doing whatever i'm pretty sure that that mother that is not real cowboys like bandits and shit totally happened bandits are not the same as fucking cowboys like gangs of cowboys i don't think a cowboy is like a real thing i it is a hundred percent all of our uk listeners please listen to the voice of reason Cowboys are real. The voice real. of reason is not the guy that's telling you that fucking cowboys are real. I'm looking up a picture. Excuse me. That's not what I'm doing. Cowboys. Facts and summary. Oh, this is History Channel, so it's probably something about the Patterson-Gimlin footage, even though I looked up uh, cowboys. Throughout history, their iconic lifestyle has been glamorized in countless books, movies, and television show, but the rough and lonely and sometimes grueling work of a cowboy wasn't for the faint of heart. Uh, raise cattle and livestock. I'm waiting for you to acknowledge that I'm correct. 
I, it's obviously. I understand what a ranch is, which is what fucking cowboys are. That's not what like the what the fucking TV has you believe about cowboys is they're out fucking lassoing wild stallions and fucking Why not? shooting criminals. They're playing sheriff, shooting the criminals at in the middle of town. At- it's probably it, it's obviously dramatized a That's bit. That's what I'm saying. Is it's but bullshit. It's, I think it's the concept of a cowboy, like and you know, the concept of a cowboy and what. A cowboy actually was are not the same thing, is my argument. I, I still think that there was like gangs of cowboys and fucking outlaws. Again, I don't think that's gangs, rolling gangs of cowboys. Five deep with the Jones boys. What the fuck did you just say to me? Five deep with the Jones boys, man. Gangs R- of cowboys. They're outlaws, man. Yeah, that's not a fucking cowboy. They, they go in their, what are, what are they called? Salon, Saloon. Saloons. Salon. They're going to eat their hair done. They're going to eat their hair done. Going to go get a weave. We fabulous <laughs> today. Should we do the horse too? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking braid its mane. Yeah. You're just riding around like doing pageant shows instead of like terrorizing places. They've re- got revolvers. 100% they have revolvers. And sometimes they got little rifles. Haven't you ever played... Uh, What's that game? Red Dead Redemption is yeah. the game that you're talking about. You yeah. want to talk to me about video games, sir? We can talk about video games. Should we do but a video game podcast? But if we're talking podcast? about fucking cowboys being the depiction of cowboys that you see in fucking spaghetti western bullshit versus what a cowboy actually was, it's not the same fucking thing. Tune in next week to find out the oh, conclusion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking, all right, next week we're doing cowboys. Fuck whatever we're actually doing. Next <laughs> week, cowboys are cryptids, and you can fucking tell me if they're real or not. Are we following it with Indians? <laughs> Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely real. Uh, actually, so are cowboys. the next one is like a native thing, I believe. I'm putting a pull up on the Facebook page as we speak about whether cowboys and Indian or cowboys are real. I'm not saying that a person uh, I- did not exist that was referred to or is now referred to as a cowboy. Again, I am saying that cowboys are not what you think that cowboys are. I think you're you're making them out to be more than they are. Are cowboys accurately depicted in movies? Yes. Also, yes. No. <laughs> Tell <laughs> yes, us more. Also, yes. Posted. Maybe. Definitely, yes. <laughs> By the end of the episode, hopefully somebody has voted one person. I'm going to shout them out if they do. Refresh, 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 refresh. Just wait a little bit before you refresh. No, I'm not refreshing right away. Um... Did you have anything in your notes about Shope? Yeah, 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 yeah. That I was just about to get to I that. I only have a small little bit, so if you wanna, if you wanna take that on, you we got a little right titty bit right here. Woo, titties! So, um, horned rabbits, such as the jackalope and those other creatures from across the and pond, the, the Werperdinger, um, they they may have originated in sightings of rabbits with Shope papilloma virus. Um, named for Richard E. Shope, who described it in a scientific journal in 1933. He studied cottontail rabbits that had been shot by hunters in Iowa. This is a, one reason why I got this this down here. I read, I was starting to read that, and then I was like, Connor's going to have that. It says Iowa. Yeah, 100%. Respect Iowa. Um, also Kansas. <laughs> um, so the, the papilloma virus, which is similar to the human pepper. HPV. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but this is for rabbits. Uh, it actually might be the same exact virus. I, in one place, I saw like that it, they referred to it similarly. I'm not 100% how that works. Well, I mean, the way it affects rabbits is that uh, it's got like growth uh, often out of its head and its face. Um, I think there's a pretty like famous one where it looks like its two front teeth like yeah, shut way out. It's, fucked. it's pretty crazy. I'll but put, like they're... a fucking trigger warning or something by that picture too. Yeah. I think I did it in Chupacabra as well, because that one was just a fucking dog. Mangy head. dog, yeah, man. That, that was brutal. It was its fucking... It was just head. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a, a, a lot of it points to that. It also can uh, come out of its body. Um, there's some places uh, around the world that have a cryptid uh, with, like, a a duck body, um, where the... It, it, the picture to me that it posted was, like, it's got the HPV or SPV, whatever it is for rabbits. Uh, papilloma. Yeah, like on his back, like it almost looked like it had like slick feathers, but 
it just straight up looked like uh, that to I'm me. I'm trying to remember a uh, link to that picture. If you can get it to me. Yeah, for sure. So it's it's kind of interesting. I, I yeah. There was one from some museum where this woman was going through some stuff and she found a rabbit that had it. It's all whatever. I saw some story oh, about it and was all it was. It was not very interesting actually, but not interesting. Okay, moving mm-hmm. on. Again, this is the opposite of a lot of the other episodes where we like oh, I don't know anything about this, and then we start to research it, and then we find, like, gobs and gobs of information that's been going on for centuries, and it's like, whoa, how the fuck have I never heard of this? Uh, and this one's like, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, why wouldn't there be a bunch of stuff? No. There's not a whole lot. This is similar to Chupacabra. It, there really wasn't much. I think our Chupacabra fucking research just sucked, to be honest with you. We probably also have to do an addendum to that one. I don't think the Jackalope research sucked that bad. I think there's just grasping at straws. Like, the stories I saw was, like, an eight-year-old saw one once. All the websites I went to were the Douglas Brothers. That's all you fucking find about it. Douglas and Ralph, Or, you know, again, those, those like, uh, Parks websites just, like, yeah. playing into it or stupid bullshit YouTube videos that I wrote stuff down about because they made me so angry. Yeah, real quick. So go to YouTube. We're gonna No, 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 no. Don't give this guy any views. No, 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 no. I don't want this to get any more views than it already has. It bamboozled me. If you're going to all right. If you're gonna go look something up, how about you look up some of these Jackalope songs? Oh there's let's real quick some good ones. Let's real quick the I think my favorite Oh, uh, boy, it's a real... Okay, so the Hop of the Jackalope exclamation mark song by Paul Eckhoff. Uh, that one's pretty all right. But I think the Jackalope song, parentheses, Cute Little Bunny with Antlers by The Singing Animal Lover is just a little bit better. Is that the one, the, the kid's song? I don't know. Why don't you pull it up and play a segment of it? The Jackalope song, parentheses, Cute Little Bunny with Antlers by... The Singing Animal Lover. The album name is Fun Songs for Animals, semicolon. By the Sing Okie Best Dokie Animal Brothers? Songs. No. Oh, that that's, is a different that's one. The that was the one first that one that up. I played. Um, there's also a Disney short real quick while we're, we're here. Boundin. Boundin. I'll just give you a quick little taste of a couple of these. Definitely, definitely make sure I link to them in the description for you. Uh, Antler. This one I would like to promote because it only has 224 views. Jackalope, the jackalope, a cute little bunny with an antelope horn. Oh, oh, the jackalope, a cute little rabbit with a deer antlers. Jack, 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 jackalope, jack, 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 jackalope. Fucking stop it. Stop it now. Yep, I, I, I'm going to cut so about 30 good. seconds I really, of that. Please, please, actually just go listen to it. I it's need, a minute and 35 seconds long. It's not long. I said the name of it 18 Worth times. It. It's, if you listen to the podcast, go check it out. Yeah, I'm going to be out. referencing that for a while. So I get, okay, we started talking about these fucking YouTube videos. A lot of them is just like some crazed man talking to himself pretending that he's talking to some other person and he just has a fucking truck full of taxidermized jackrabbits with antlers on their fucking head he's got a bunch of jackalopes in the back of the car he's like oh look at all these jackalopes it's like again i don't have a what problem you got in the trunk? i've seen enough oh, mounted. i got nothing in the trunk man what do you got in the trunk what do you mean there's nothing in the trunk well i didn't get anything in the trunk some dude fucking it's talking to himself so dumb it's yeah it's embarrassing uh Unfortunately, I am also a human being, which this guy allegedly is, so it makes me look bad. Uh, I, I mean, there was, again, like, then they would take a taxidermized rabbit, or jack, jackalope, out and fucking just take a picture of it with night vision and be like, oh, look what I saw. Show me a goddamn thing of it moving. I saw a bunch of them that it was just like, okay, it looks like a rabbit running across the hill. 100%, it's, yeah. You're using a fucking phone. And it it's is literally 300 shitty. yards away. You think I know what that is? Another one, some shitbirds just like on a campus in fucking college. And he's just like <laughs> got a fucking set of deer antlers. And somebody's like, oh, I'm just recording the campus on my phone. And then he just like 
sticks the antlers up real quick, uh, like out of like from some bushes, and then they go to zoom in and they move and it's gone. And just like over like five things, it's like seriously, they're so bad. Eat a bag of dicks. Like you're, you, I get that you're trying to be funny, but like come on. Uh, <sighs> I'm getting out to a fence, lot so. of really shitty photoshopped stuff, man. It's I. I mentioned this in previous episodes. I do some photo mani- manipulation work for a living. I spend eight hours a day in Photoshop. I don't debunk photos for a living, but I can spot a shit edit job from a mile away. Try no me, real like, images of a jackal. I did not see a single photo that I was like, wow, that's clearly not fake or a photo of a tax under my... You know what I mean? Like, I can't... I can't guarantee that a photo of one is not... Is, like, if it's a taxidermied one, I can't... Yeah, you tell, can't tell you for certain. It, it but what I can tell you for certain is there is not a single video that I saw on the internet anywhere of a rabbit with horns like a deer, antlers coming out of its head, moving. Yeah, I, I am one hundred percent on board with the uh, the show papilloma papilloma virus. Yeah, like that one. Just, for sure. you, some of them look like they have little horns and little, you know definitely gross out of the top of their head and again like you never fucking know but it seems like it's just a fucking sick little rabbit that was my pros list was like yeah the the papilloma virus and i guess you never know yeah technically if there is a jackrabbit with horns growing out of its face does the jackalope exist yes it's just not what you thought it was i, I don't think it's a thing um Real quick, I want to interject. I forgot to to tell you this last time, but um, so there. I was listening. I'm gonna do a real quick shout out because I, I they just did a jackalope episode. Um, they a do what? some good a jackalope episode. Yeah. Um, the Cryptid Keeper podcast. Yeah. Um, listening to them and one of the girls on there, one of the hosts, says that there is a very small deer or antelope. That lives like in South America, maybe. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little rusty oh, on the details. Oh, like a pygmy. It's like just really small, and it could like it's got like a little bit of a different face than a deer. It and definitely could be like mistaken for that. For like a rabbit, uh, a dick dick. It could Is be a dick dick. I, I don't know. I I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I wish I could remember. There's four species of small antelope in that genus in southern Africa. They stand thirty to forty centimeters, which is about uh, twelve inches, twelve to fifteen inches at the shoulder, uh, up to two feet long, just over two feet long, and weigh up to thirteen pounds. Just a tiny little antelope. It's a dick dick. D i k hyphen d i k. I'm also Spelling saying very poodoo. Crucial. A poodoo. Yeah, there's ten South different America. species of South American, but but these are all too North and European for that to be the case and wouldn't you just think it was like a baby antelope if you are aware of what an antelope is uh because yeah. it's very apparently not a rabbit no. and well okay so while i was in colorado uh we had seen i texted you because we saw some animal in the yard and we couldn't figure out what it was was it a jackalope it was not a jackalope it, we we eventually identified it as a uh uh, a red weasel, I believe. There was some, like, a, it was a pretty young one, I think. So there's a couple of these little dudes running around the yard. They were fucking weird looking, man. It, I don't know. They were a little bit off. This is the only thing we could think of that it'd be, but yeah, man, really weird. Yeah, like it was very cat looking, but the tail was crazy. You just see it hopping through the yard. It was really small, but we just kept seeing it. It was like the first time I saw it, it looked like it had like a lion's mane, and then the tail was like a skinny tail and then it had like a paintbrush black thing on the end it was fucking weird we saw it once for like a quarter of a second and like three or four of us saw it and we're like what the fuck was that have you ever seen like a a, a weasel like have you ever seen a weasel in iowa no i'm 100 percent sure i saw a weasel run across the road one time could have been somebody's pet yeah but it was, it was weird it, it threw me so hard at three o'clock in the morning on my way to work over Crossing that road over there recently. I've seen I see woodchucks a, like a lot more than I I would expect. Long tailed weasel is thirteen to eighteen inches long. Boom. That lives in Iowa. Okay, maybe that was it. That's so weird. That's so weird for me to think. I can only think of them at ferrets. Uh, there's also like lizards. 
God, it, I've never seen lizards. Skinks? Frogs. Frogs are Apparently totally they're an Iowa super thing. Super common. I have never once seen a lizard in Iowa. I haven't either, except at the Nature Museum. Tennessee, I saw all over the place. Could I? I had. I've never seen one just out. Reptiles weird me out. Like, I feel like there's like even the common garden snake is so uncommon to see. Like, I don't see snakes often. The only time I ever see snakes is at Heritage. Yeah, I was gonna say there there's snakes at Heritage for sure. I haven't seen them in probably two years. Uh, I saw them last summer probably. But it everything is underwater right I now. I don't. I don't often see snakes. No, or any reptile. Um. So r- real quick before we get into what we need to get into. Yeah. Um. Uh, just so we're all clear here, I am off the fence in the, the sense that a jackalope isn't a real thing. Where do you stand? In the sense that a jackalope is a jackrabbit that has antlers that grow and shed every year that are the same as an antelope's or a deer's no if it is just a jackrabbit that is sick fine yes but then if a horse is sick with has some fucking tumor on his forehead is that what a unicorn is you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't define it that way so i don't think i can say that a sad sickly little jackrabbit is a jackalope so i would say no it's not but there's something prove me wrong right um, as far as, uh, we'll have to, we'll have to look into that theory, uh, on unicorns because we've got to do unicorns at some point. We'll have to, we'll have to look into like an HPV for humans or for, hum- for unicorns. HPV stands for human papilloma virus, sir. UPV, unicorn papilloma virus. Yours. Bovine? Bovine papilloma. Is that, is bovine just cows? HPV, shut up, dude. We know what we're talking about. Papilloma virus. Fuck. So we're off the fence now. We're, we we both think that no, it's not real. Let us know what not, you think. Yeah. yeah. If Facebook you tell page. me otherwise, show your work. Definitely, Make definitely. Sure you carry the one. If you if you've got you. some like extra information leading you to believe that it is real, let us know because I w- I want to be swayed, but literally no signs point to it being real right now. I'm pretty confident about this one, but yeah. Prove me wrong, I guess. So then between the jackalope and the black shuck, is it really a serious question? No. Not at all. Bet it all on black, baby. Even if it, even if it was a regular dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking bet it on a chihuahua. Yep. <laughs> That's where we stand on this week's poll. Let us know what you think over on social media. Um Links in the description, facebook.com slash count encrypted, Twitter at count cryptid. Last episode, we asked the exact same question of Black Shuck and Mokele. No, 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 Mokele Mbembe. Mbembe, sorry. Getting dinosaurs Mokele mixed Mbembe. up. Did you hear Mokele Mbembe? Boom, did, doom, did, do. Every time. <laughs> Every time, baby. Came from a land down under. Yep, that's what, yeah, thank you. Uh, so you have those results up. Look at me with my brand new Hyundai. Because I know that uh, Twitter was popping, and I know who won, but I don't remember what the the percentages were. Uh, I think the, this week was a split. Uh, so seventy three percent Mokele and Bembe versus the twenty seven percent Black Shuck over on Twitter. All right, so over on Facebook, it was the opposite. You are correct. It was thirty seven percent for Mokele and Bembe, and sixty three percent for Black Shuck. So I think overall. Uh, if we combine all of them, it's really close, but Mokele and Bembe comes out. Really? Yes, and I believe that both of us... I we think were you on were Black on, Shuck. I think you were on Mokele, but I talked you into Black You Shuck talked me into it for sure. After you said it. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I want to read some of the, the things that they said in the comment section. Oh, did some people comment on A couple of people commented. Uh, uh, Matthew Thelwell. Um, he posted a picture of a black shuck and said, I wouldn't want to take the shuck for a walk. Would you? Fuck no. No, it looks pretty, pretty scary. Uh, also Tyler Holtzclaw. Uh, if a black shuck wasn't a demonized, almost spirit of a dog, I'd give it to Michele Mbembe, as I said. Um, but that's not the case. Dinosaur crushes dog in physical battle, but we're getting to the spiritual realm. Back, Black Shuck takes this one, so he he definitely again. That's kind of the same those. thing that we were talking about. Is like if it's 
if it's just straight up like a dog versus a dinosaur, the dog or even fucking a wolf. dinosaur is going to take it. But you have to, if there is that spiritual element involved, you have to at least give it a small, a small bit of that. And that's, I think, where, for me, that's what, what, where that took the cake and for him as well. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for commenting on that one. Uh, again, if you want to get in on this, get over on the social media. Tell us uh, what you think. I, I want to do an update on the Cowboys. Oh, you have a vote poll. already on Cowboys poll. I huh? had two earlier. I'm reloading real quick to, to see what the updated stats are. Where, the, where did you post that? I looked and I didn't see it anywhere. Dude, I don't know. It's, it's kind of it's being I weird on I pulled it up me. on social media. Uh, I, you're on the page. I'm on the group. Uh, I posted yeah, it just okay. to the group. On Facebook? Gotcha. Yeah. So if, you, if you're not a Facebook member, I guess you can't see it. But you also can't see the page. You, you can anyway. go to the page. But you can't like it. Give me the update on your fucking cowboys. All right, we've got three people that say, tell us more. I think they incorrectly understood what that, that section was for. I wanted you to tell us more. Not we're going to tell you more, but I guess we're going to have to do a goddamn cowboys fucking cryptid episode. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny. I, I'm, I'm actually mad about it. I this. don't know. Tell us more. God damn it. Okay, so... Yeah. Yep. We mentioned earlier that we're going to talk about this a little bit, um, but in addition to that, we have some reviews. <laughs> the cowboy poll. In addition to the cowboy poll. Uh, I've got a handful of people that reviewed us on Facebook, and I'm super grateful. Like I'm uh, yes, super stoked you. on it. Honestly, that was like partly the most exciting part of my vacation, was Connor sending me screenshots of all you guys, the stuff that you guys said while I was surrounded by mountains. Um, we may have uh, read this one on air already. Uh, I'm going to read it again just because it, I'm it. stoked on it. Ashley Stitch uh, on June 7th re- reviewed the the Counting Cryptids podcast for five stars. Thank you, Thank Ashley. You. Uh, she said, these guys are entertaining and fun, talking about not just your run-of-the-mill cryptids. You know, appreciate that, Ashley. Like, we had a list of cryptids, and we went through we went through so many cryptids to find the ones that we've done so far. Um, and we've had people add to them, so we're we're super stoked on those people that have suggested those. Yeah, if you have any suggestions those. on some stuff, I know we've had a couple come in that we're going to try and squeeze in. Jackalope was one. This was one of them as well. I don't know. We didn't mention it at the beginning, but I don't know if you have who originally did that, requested it somewhere. Hopefully uh, we don't offend them by how much we... I think I think it was Ashley. No, I think Ashley st- oh, really? suggested that. Cool. Uh, I could be wrong, but I- I'm pretty sure it was Ashley. Uh, a minute ago, even I think. Yes, yes. On May 16th, she suggested it. So we're just now getting around to it. But Ashley, thank you for your review. I hope you enjoyed our Jackalope episode. Um, definitely. Hopefully, hopefully didn't hopefully, offend you. Uh, uh, yeah, hopefully we did it justice. Um, next one we got here is Matthew with Thelwell. Um, he's got another five stars for us. Thanks, Thank Matt. you, sir. Um, top podcast. Great to hear. Great to hear about different cryptids. Keep up the good work, guys. Matt from the UK. I would have guessed UK because he said top. Top of the morning. It's a classy to way to describe things as Connor throws random uh, generic yes. English phrases. I'm sorry, Matt, if I offended you. Uh, another one here from Connor Annette. This That's is not you. Arguably the best one yet. He gave us a five star review. His name is Connor. Excellent. Um, all he wrote was absolute legends. I mean, that's rad. I I will take that. <laughs> yeah, I will take you that. Can put Connor. that on my fucking tombstone. Uh, I, I'm just gonna do a like like I took a screenshot on my headstone like it's going to like have the the Facebook whole thing on my headstone Somebody said I was a legend Absolute when I was 26 legends. And we've got one more from Liz Macbeth another five star review on Facebook I love the podcast so much happened upon you guys on Spotify and I'm trying to catch up I love the playful banter interesting cryptid not just the month banner or whatever and all the info keep up the great work Hey. She's got a smiley face in there. Hey, thank you. So thank you, Liz. Appreciate it. Um, we will un- I hope you I hope you're not I hope you're okay with us covering the Mothman because that's gonna happen. Inevitably it will happen. Uh, right around Mothman Fest time. 
<laughs> spoiler. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, but yeah, def- definitely thank you to all those people that have reviewed. If you want to review, you can find us on Facebook uh, at Counting Cryptids. Additionally, there was another iTunes review. I think we had already there talked was. about it uh, from a Ricky Do five stars. Ricky Do, thank you. It said tight. Hope they keep the show going. Uh, plan we plan on, on it. it. So, we plan on uh, it. Tight. As long as this doesn't turn into a drinking problem, I'm in. <laughs> You're on vacation now, motherfucker. Like It's going to be a drinking problem. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. If you want to get your two cents in, answer this week's polls on social media. You can find us on Twitter at Count Cryptid or Counting Cryptids on Facebook. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or you just want to chat, you can email us at countingcryptids at hotmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and tell your friends. He's been Connor. He's been Jacob. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks for another fascinating installment of Counting Cryptids.